Hello everyone, in this short video we'll be covering how you can quickly test and deploy your applications by connecting your Fire TV device over ADB, also known as the Android Debug Bridge. Before we jump in, a quick disclaimer, both your PC and Fire device must be connected to the same network in order to support ADB connections. The first thing we need to do is head over to the settings menu from the Fire TV home screen and then from here select either device or my fire tv and then developer options we then need to enable adb debugging and to also accept apps from unknown sources then back out into the about section and then into network make a note of the ip address on screen this is the local ip address of our fire tv device that we'll be using later now we'll set up our path this will make it much easier for us to execute the adb command without always having to be in the same directory as our Android SDK. This section is a little bit OS specific, so if you're a Mac user, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp on screen now, and we'll start off with the Windows setup. So starting off with Windows, the first thing we need to do is get the path to our Android platform tools directory. If you know where this is, then copy that to your clipboard and move on to the next step. If you don't know where it is, chances are it's going to be in your default install directory of the Android SDK. To find this, just hit the Windows key and then type percentage local app data percentage and then hit enter. Inside of Android and then SDK, there'll be a platforms tool folder which will have the adb.exe file inside. If you just head up to the top and copy that address, we can then move on to the next step. Now we can click on the Windows key and type in environment variables and then click, as you might guess, environment variables. On the lower window, we can see that there's a system variables area. Scroll down to where the path is and hit edit. If you're a Windows 10 user, just click on the new button and then paste in the path inside of the text box and then hit OK. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, move your text cursor to the end of that line add a semicolon and then paste your path in, then hit OK. Now, if you're a Mac user, we once again need to find the directory to our Android platform tools folder and copy it into our clipboard. If you don't know where this is, chances are it's in your Android SDK, which is in your user slash library folder by default. Now, all we need to do is open up our terminal window and enter the following command. Don't worry, we've included it in the description down below for you to paste in. Just remember to swap out the your username section with your actual local account name. If you have a different Android SDK directory, then replace this part of the command. Just hit enter and it will create a file called bash underscore profile in your user directory. Now type into the terminal cat tilde that's the squiggly line by the way forward slash period bash underscore profile then hit enter and we'll see that our android platform tools are now set up in our path with our path configured we can now open up our command prompt or terminal window anywhere we want and type in adb connect followed by the ip address we noted down earlier just make sure that the prompt on your fire tv device is accepted and that's it we can verify that our device is connected by typing in ADB devices. And now whenever we go into Android Studio, we can deploy our builds directly to the device without any need for manually uploading the APKs. If you have any questions on building for Fire TV or want to learn more about the platform, check out the link on screen now for all of our documentation covering everything from building your first app to integrating voice controls. You can also reach out to us at firetvdev-eu at amazon.co.uk. Thanks for watching.